In this video, we're going to talk about a Gibson Dove top that I have in my trophies from my repair days. I used to do a lot of repair. A fellow brought me a middle 60s Gibson Dove. Cheryl Member put it somewhere around 1965, 64, 65, and he'd broken the top here and, and and down here and I told him I said you know that that top can be repaired he said I don't want to repair a guitar he said I want that top to be totally replaced and renewed and he insisted I said okay you know that's what you want that's what we'll do so I got a really good piece of spruce and took the bridge off here pick garden reused his pick garden he reused his bridge. Completely copied this top as close as I possibly could. And I got it really close. When I got done, he was he was satisfied. He was completely pleased with it. And the guitar sounded good too. It didn't sound bad. It was a maple, of course. Maple back and sides, maple neck. Dove guitar. Now we're gonna take a look at what there is not to see on this on this top. What you don't see is what's important. There's nothing to see. And that makes the point. Let's look at the brace pattern. That's what we're going to talk about. And like I said, there's nothing to see. And what you don't see tells you something. What you don't see is tapered bracing. These braces are, are straight all the way. They don't taper at all. They're the same height. They're the same, they're the same width. They don't they don't taper in as they come down. They're the same width all the way up. They're the same height all the way up. Tone bar is the same. The upper face brace is the same. It doesn't taper. It's the same all the way across. I'm not going to get into dimensions because it's not important. You know? I'll just say that... Uh, I'll just say that they're around 470 tall here. 465, 470 tall. By about 280 wide. And that's about what they are. But they don't change. There's a little, few thousands difference between one and the other, but that's, I think that's accident. Now, the other thing that everybody pretty well knows, Gibson, for a while there, used laminated bridge plates, and this one is one. And like I said, this is early to mid-60s. I didn't know they'd done it that soon. I thought they was doing that on up towards the late 60s, but this is a laminated bridge plate. Now, when I built, when I replaced this top for this guy, I, uh, of course, put in a, a solid bridge plate, but I pretty well copied the brace pattern because he had a sound as used to. Now, here's the thing. These guitars sound good. I've heard them on YouTube. I've heard guys picking them, and I'll not refer to any, but I think they got a great sound. I, I know a couple instances on YouTube where the guitars just sound wonderful, and I don't know that they're tapered like, like this one is. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't think otherwise. Why would Gibson do one one way and one another? I don't know. Anyway, this one has nothing special about the shape of the braces. They're just, they're just straight pieces of wood put in there. No refinement at all as far as taper or thickness. And yet they sound, they sound really good. And that's what I'm saying. What you don't see, you don't see any tapering, you don't see any special work, but yet... We learned something there. The Gibson, the Gibson Dove is a desirable guitar, and it's uh, got good resale value, and it sounds good. So, how much good does the tapering do? Well, it does some good, no doubt. It makes the guitar more responsive, makes them louder, and it changes the tone. But who's going to argue with the Gibson tone? Well, some people would. Some people don't like the Gibson Dove tone, but I do. I think it's a good sounding guitar. But that's what I wanted to talk about was was uh, how that there's nothing to see here. Now, it's a 102 degree spread on this X brace across there, 102, it's not, it's not right angles, it's a 102 degree spread. And the guy, I suppose, who owned this guitar had a little crack starting right here. And that looks like a piece of a tobacco can or something that had been glued in there to, to reinforce that, that crack. I certainly didn't do that, but <laughs> somebody did. 
Of course, I didn't duplicate that when I made his new top. When I got it done, he was highly pleased with his guitar. He had a top on there. It wasn't cracked or nothing. It wasn't repaired. It was a new one. So anyway, there we go. But I thought you might be interested in seeing a top off of a middle 60s, somewhere around 1965, Gibson Dove, according to the serial number. I'm not going to mention the serial number because I don't want to reflect on that man's guitar on a hymn either. So I'm not going to mention the serial number at all. But just to say, I looked it up. It was, it was around 1965. Okay. There it is. Hope you found this interesting. I've worked on other doves before when I used to do repair work. And I wished I'd have taken a look inside them and seen how that they were put together and see if it was the same thing. But I didn't. But I got this one as a trophy for my old repair work days. There it is. All righty. See you next time.